Hello, dear students.、Uh, today I am going to talk talk about the conflict, which is really famous for generally for in terms of the ongoing war, and、uh, so it's so called the Syrian civil war. The new patterns of the conflict. Basically, here is the brief information about the Syria that the main population of the Syria constituted of the Sunni Muslim. And、uh, basically,、uh, like to make up for that, the seventy four percent, and then、uh, including the Alawis, Christian, Druze, Arab, Kurdish, and other.、Uh, right now, we do know that also Kurdish people in the northern Syria、uh, try to proclaim their independence to just establish or set up the Kurdistan state. Uh, the Syrian crisis, as one of the crucial conflict of the twenty one twenty first century, stemming from the consequence of so called Arab awakening of two thousand eleven, that were not able to change the country for better, but rather jeopardize the situation in the region as well. The Arab Spring taking place in Tunis, then Syria, can be considered the core trigger of the emergence of the civil war. The multi-dimensional character of the Syrian crisis caused loads of casualty, humanitarian crisis, destruction of major cities, and the emergence of apex points of violent armed conflict. Syrian brutal five-year-long war reportedly killed more than four hundred. Thousand civilians and destroy, destroyed more than twenty cities has turned increasingly chaotic, multi-sided regional conflict as a tangle of internal and external players. So. At the same time, there are some kind of major interests of the main nation states,、uh, like the Israel, China, Turkey, Russia, especially USA. Currently, Syria is divided into many parts under the main control of various actor. In order to solve the Syrian conflict, the major actor strive to give their multifaceted agendas as positions, but the clash of their interests impedes their efforts. In terms of solving the conflict sufficiently, we know that since September two thousand fourteen. Uh, the U.S. forces have been bombing the position of Islamic states in Syria, like the ISIS, carrying out the massive majority of the strikes by the anti-ISIS coalition. So here is the what is Arab Spring.、Uh, the as I mentioned before, that the Arab Spring is the major. Accelerator of the beginning of the Syrian crisis. The Arab Spring is a major term for the revolutionary wave of demonstration and the protest, riots, civil war in the Arab world, especially in Tunis and the Syria, began on eighteen December two thousand ten. At the same time, Russia also tried to improve its interests against the USA and trying to holding the Bashar Assad regime compared to the US. And in the right now, there is a civil war between the main opposition sides. The Syrian opposition is an umbrella term for groups and individual calling for regime change in Syria, and who opposes Baathist government. There are main uh, actors uh, in the、uh, Syrian war, and the National Coalition for Syrian Revolutionary and Opposition Forces, the Syrian National Council, local coordination committee of Syria. Free Syrian Army and Higher Military Council, Kurdish Supreme Committee, and also and now I am going to give the some kind of interest of the states as well, like the in, in the example of Russia, U.S., China, Israel, and others, especially Saudi Arabia also. Bashar al-Assad, we know that is in the power, and the, that's the main power. That is the main reason that why the interest of the、uh, th this is the main excuse that why the interest of the nation states Russia, Turkey, and the, especially the U.S. just clashed upon、uh, because of the. Dominance and the power of the Bashar Hafiz al-Assad, that supported by mainly Russia, is the president of Syria and the regional secretary of the Syrian-led branch of the Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party. He has served as a president since 2000 when he succeeded his father Hafiz al-Assad, who had ruled Syria for 30 years prior to his death. And the 
But basically, many times Russia officially announced the withdrawal of its troops and air bases from the region. But currently, but due to the Corona crisis as well as some kind of intense situation, just the Syrian crisis is behind. But hopefully, it will be accelerated in the coming years as well after toppling down with the intense situation that right now is happening. Uh, basically, uh, Russia, you know, like Russia, Iran is also the major supporter of the Assad regime in the region, although both of them have different objectives, but strive to annihilate the opposite force and keep the Assad regime in power. In fact, Shia-based Iran is always eager to prop up Bashar Assad regime and maintain his Alawite dominated government by providing him military advisor and subsidized military weapons as well. In in particular, many credit, subsidies, and oil transfer as well. On the other hand, the Syria as a main transport point is far more important for weapons shipments or the delivery from Iran to the Lebanese Shia Islamic movement, Hezbollah, and at the same time, Iran strives to influence in Hezbollah's decision to send the fighters to the western part of Syria to support the position and the movement of pro-Assad groups. What about the Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia's major concern are the increase of extremist and separatist movement and the improving role of Islamic State. It also emphasizes that Saudi Arabia is ready to enhance its military troops and deploy them in the region to fight against extremists and the separatist movement as also jihadists and terrorist parties. Saudi Arabia, we know that always support the interests of the U.S., Saudi Arabia, who took the pro-Western activities, declared that in the case of deployment of the U.S. bases airstrike in the region, that was able to take part in the U.S.-led air coalition to prevent the destructive impacts of the terrorist organization, main ISIS. But what about the Turkey? We do know that in the coming years, especially in especially in the previous year, actually, Turkey and the Russian interest has waxed and waned due to the Syrian crisis. And from the standpoint of the Turkey, the major concern of it are both ISIS and both a terrorist and extremist group at the same time extremist Kurdish groups. But the male increasing role of Syrian Kurdish in the northern part of Syria uh, taking the main interest of the Turkey to provide its border security or the secretization of the bar, uh, border. From the historical background, it's apparent that Turkey has always been fighting against uh, the terrorist groups. And here is, as I mentioned, the Syrian government, that the armies and the forces that support the Syrian government, which are divided to the two parts as well. And uh, right now here is this some kind of situation that um, going, uh, going is happening in, in this part of the regions like Aleppo, which is the uh, clashed point of the crisis, and then Hama, Homs, Damascus, and Duma. Uh, regarding the crisis management techniques, some European expert, not only just European expert, but other expert also in the world, in the international arena, give some kind of recommendation that the, how we can deal with the crisis management and the, how we can deal with the problem right now happening in Syria. Basically, uh, some uh, expert mentioned that we do need the peaceful political transformation through a democratic election. That we know to that we know that we need to set up or launch the democratic election to just toppling down the Bashar Assad regime and choose the how can I say like the suitable and the appropriate leader uh, for the Syria as well. That has to be supervised by the United Nations at the moment, uh, I think that the UN supervision is not actually available because of some kind of uh, separate and the interest and the misperce misperception of the nation states in the region. So it seems a little bit absurd in this case. The formation of the interim government, it's like the temporary government that has to be set up with the, um, how can I say, like the leadership of the nation states, but without the governments and the power of Bashar Assad.
the resolution through the international mediation. Actually, the NATO just uh, sent its troops to Kosovo to solve the Kosovo problem. And the resolution through the international mediation. In the international mediation, they will be the main mediator, second, and the natural mediator to solve the problem, especially with the involvement of the US, Russia, Turkey, and other natural mediator countries. And then there is another solution that declaration of the ceasefire in order to ensure the full security and stability within the region. Actually, the ceasefire is, seems like to be appropriate uh, approach in order to solve the problem in the region actually compared to the UN and the Kosovo cases as well and uh, regarding the the last one the arrangement of the UN peaceful peacekeeping mission is also seems like absurd like the UN in the previous time like in 2015 2016 it seems to be good to deploy the UN troops and the peacekeeping troops in the region uh, with the implementation of the Kosovo case and also the Bosnian case. But right now, I do believe that the step-by-step -step approach, like the declaration of the deployment of the ceasefire in the region, seems to be appropriate approach in order to solve the problem in the region. So basically, uh, what I can say, uh, uh, another uh, main part uh, regarding the crisis management techniques uh, that the, all the experts already mentioned their own opinion that how we can deal with the problems and uh, to, in, to lessen the intense situation in the region. And just uh, like the regarding the current situation, what we can say, the outcomes of the Syrian civil war, the emergence of the large-scale refugee crisis since the end of the World War II, Right now, we know that the uh, Syrian crisis, especially the Syrian refugee crisis, already made a big threat for the European countries. At the same time, European countries, basically the Visegrad group countries, involving the Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia and the Hungary, they are not able to accept the exceed court quotas of the migrants, Syrian migrants, to their region. They do believe that if we accept more than 1,000 or something like the 1 million refugees, it means that we are, we just put our border in a jeopardy situation. So that's why the Syrian crisis also ignited the, uh, uh, like the term of the migration uh, in a bad form, like because the Syria refugee means for right now, like the Islamic separatist group. On the other hand, they also ignited the cultural acceleration uh, between the uh, like the cultural clash between the like the Islamic people and also the Christian group of the Europe. At the same time, the spread of the radical Islamic movement, as well as the inclusive terrorism across the region, also make a threat for the European countries that they are not able to accept the far more refugees from the Syria. The massive humanitarian catastrophe and the deterioration homes, Aleppo and Dara also, this is the main results, like it can be seems like the intense or the bad results of the Syrian crisis as well. Then uh, the civil war in Syria evolved and they engendered the separative movement and in particular arduous situation in the northern part of the country led by the Kurdish militant group. Right now, Turkey is also struggling with the Kurdish group, not able to let them to set up their own government in this region because it make a big threat to the borders and the secretization of the border issue of the Turkey Republic. And the map showing the fact that cantons held by Kurdish forces in northern Syria, as we know that in 2016, Kurdish people proclaimed they are far more independent in the Rojava, uh, in the like they said that it's the Kurdish Republic, but it was not recognized by other countries, but it just far more failed. And what can be the evaluation and the suggestion? 
The evaluation. The main uh, evaluation of this presentation is that the Syrian conflict that emerged as a consequence of so-called Arab awakening did not change the country for better, but rather the situation went worse. The ongoing war reportedly killed more than 400,000 civilians, destroyed more than 20 cities. The international meetings in Geneva since 2012, 2014, and 2016 also were incompetent to achieve its goal in conjunction with the conflict. As the rate of the human catastrophe reached the peak point and fluctuated up during the Munich Security Conference, the main global and the regional actors, such as the US, France, Germany, Russia, and Turkey, agreed on ceasefire agreement within a week in order to deliver humanitarian aid to Aleppo. Within a week, it means like that in 2016. However, right now the ceasefire is also frozen. But the ceasefire seems to be appropriate in order to solve the problem, the Syrian problem in these cases. Uh, the, what can be the suggestion in order to solve the crisis in the, in the region as well or to lessen the intense situation in the region? Urgently, we do need the democratic election must be, or that must be organized by some kind of groups, special groups, with the international mediation. Bashar Assad being supported by Iran and Russia also must be a part of political transformation. The formation of inclusive you know, secretariat and government, it, it can be based on the free and fair multi-party system. There is one party system led by the Bashar Assad. No any kind of activity about the multi-parties in the region. The reasses of the constitutional order and legal system, they need to set up the new legal system in order to set up new establishment, set up new structure, like the administrative mechanism in the region. Participation of all groups and segments of society in Syria in a meaningful national dialogue process. Another one, especially the women's rights just toppling down in the region, that's why we need to provide the women's rights in particular, full representation of the women, especially women empowerment in political and the economic field, like implementation of the rules, voting process, political representation and other in the during the course of the political transition. The, Organization of the humanitarian and the financial aid across the ruined city, and also the parliamentary system and political transparency, multiple realism must be ensured at the same time. War, well, felons and culprits in the course of the civil war must be investigated under the surveillance of International Criminal Tr Tribunal for Syria. Thanks for your attention and uh, if you have any kind of question, please get back to me via email or the Facebook. And there is also one important thing that, that I would like to mention. Uh, right now, the situation is frozen because of the intense situation regarding the uh, coronavirus. But uh, try to follow up the what is happening in the region right now from BBC, CAN, and the Al Jazeera uh, website policy platforms. Uh, and another thing is that I already uploaded the uh, exam questions regarding the Syria, regarding especially regarding the interest of the each country, like the Russian interest the U.S. approach, the Turkey stance, the Saudi Arabian uh, interest in the region, and you need to just write down the particular interest. If they, if they can be some kind of question form, then like the, you need to uh, give your own approach and also the possible solution, like the possible answer to the questions as well. Uh, thank you so much again. Bye.